now, DC, in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. Now, you're not going to get a submission off or anything like that, but you having your feet on your opponent's hips, it just allows you to build a, a, a push. You just push right. with your feet. You elevate your opponent's hips away from you, and then you just get a jiu-jitsu escape. Push your hand back, hip heights up, back to your feet. Now we're back to fight. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, stacked guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean that he's out. I mean, he's out. The moment you get the feet on the hips, all he's got to do now is just straight leg. He's got to kick and push, because how is the opponent going to stop him from just elevating him? This is a grown man. You let him get both feet on your hips, you push away, you kick, Jiu-Jitsu stand-up, you know what that is, Jay. I do. You understand that. You know, you went to your Jiu-Jitsu classes. <laughs> Post the hands, twist the hips, get back to your feet, get back to the fight. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Down into his mouth. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all the fighting. Because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Horns out for the end of round one. So for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what... Sit down, relax, breathe, okay? You gotta suck it up this way. Not tired, you want to go out there and All right, champs, second round now. Your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Nate Diaz. Dig and kick. Start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Left hand punch with the clinch. Nurmago Medov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight oh, goes on. Well, just like he drew it up with us on Thursday, catches the kick, counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job countering with that nice takedown. Great fight, I can see in that kick. All right, so, oh, he catches the leg here, and now he goes for the takedown, it's there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. 
Rubber guard form now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down, keep around his neck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and pound right. If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. So 55 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing at a pretty good clip here tonight. 58% the accuracy rate against Nate Diaz. Let's go do something. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big punch from the clinch. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. When you're in a clinch. Judo! Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ground and pound here or if you're gonna go to submission. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's gotta feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swing. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC, and he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes, before his po opponent could react to it. All right, that was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ready? Ready? Third round underway. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Magomedov gets back up again. Well, more often than not, when he has struck, he has landed 86 total strikes. Have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with 58% accuracy. Oh, man, that's effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got to hurt very bad. to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Nurmagomedov gets back up again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Diaz gets hit with a kick. And they separate. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity.